Hello and welcome to more Storybook Brawl. It's been a while. Um, I've been playing Vintage Cube. I've been playing on my other Magic channel for a while because there's a format that's up short term. But I really am just feeling like playing this game. Uh, I'm going to start with the Fates. I like playing as this character. If you can get like a quester early or something, you can really go deep with this. Uh, huh. So we can shrink spell. It's been a while since I've played. So we can shrink spell and then get uh, Rainbow Unicorn plus Happy Little Tree and have a lot of toughness. I don't think I actually want these characters though, so I think we're just going to start off with Rainbow Unicorn and just wait until the next um, set of cards to get something better. Because it basically what's going to happen if I take this, I'm going to have a ton of toughness and then a random Tiny. Tiny's going to die to like a 1-1 one -one and then I'm just going to get wrecked. Okay, so we can double Unicorn. Uh, we can go Mad Min plus Unicorn to have a 4-5. And then I can cast a spell to make it a 5-6. I think I kind of like going double Unicorn and uh, buffing this one up. Uh, I could lock to get Mad Min plus Baby Root on my Unicorns. And I could have... If I put it here, this is going to be at 5-10. This early in the game, that actually might be good. Although I kind of want to triple stuff too. Now, let's go for really big unicorns. I'm here to have fun. It's been a while since I've played this game. I missed you guys. So uh, let's, let's do something fun. It's so much less stressful than playing Magic, which I kind of enjoy. Ooh, that was nice. Uh, we do... Hi. Well, that's unfortunate, but... Okay, uh... Huh. <laughs> I could try and go for Eeny Meeny. It's so likely to work out. Let's do it. Okay, it worked out. We do that. We do this. Um, I'm going to lock for the baby root. I think it's fine. So we have a 1-4 Mad Mim. And then a 4-6 and a 4-9. I guess I kind of want the... No, not like this. I like this. Okay. <laughs> I want to do this. And then I think I'm actually going to put the baby root in front. So then I can move these over. I'm going to have like a one nine one uh four six and then a three five or something. We're just going to go like super toughness dudes. Or as I put it in a different video, like Operation Frontline Booty. Uh we should win this one. Oh, yeah. Easy game. Haven't lost a single round. We have two pairs. We got the pig. Uh, maybe... I want the pair, so we're gonna take this. And then... I probably need to just fill out with units. So I guess we're gonna take the minotaur and then roll to try and hit a triple. <laughs> oh boy um i can only triple so many things and they're all supports right now so they're not characters i really care about long term i don't think i'm gonna lock for a pair of mad mims that's too many pairs even if i do triple it like it's gonna get plus five plus five and that's not even that great um because our, our board is good for like two more turns at that um because we just have all these old fives in the background um, I could put this dude somewhere else, but I think this is probably the best way to build the comp. We attacked the wrong one, but I think it's okay. We're gonna even kill their Humpty, nice. Alright, we gotta triple something or get a good level 3 here. Um, okay. I do like Sleeping Princess. Uh, Ogre Princess with the Mad Mim is also going to be 6 power, so I could just start farming level 3s. Romeo is pretty big. I mean... Hmm, what am I doing here? I think we're going to go Romeo... Uh, I don't really want to spec that on the Sleeping Princess. I will take the fruit, and then we're going to roll and try and hit a pair. Ooh. I'm actually fairly happy with this princess. And then I have this 1-6, which I actually don't care that much about. But 
Uh, this upgrades on its own, so that's great. And Romeo, the reason I'm taking this is if we're trying to upgrade our units, we probably want to end up in princes and princesses. Uh, you know, that's something to hedge towards. So by taking Romeo, we kind of just open ourselves up to be in that avenue. I don't know if I like this unicorn. It is a 4-8, though. All right, attack the Void Stag. Nice. Oh, that's so good. Chicken goes there, that goes there. We are kind of just housing... <clears throat> housing them here. I haven't lost a fight. I haven't upgraded anything either, though. Uh, I can take the wheel. We're playing against Loki, who's probably getting much stronger at this point, so I think I roll. Um... Yeah, I think I'm just going to buy some experience here. We're strong enough to be level 4. Now we can roll. There's Cinderella. Um, I mean, she doesn't really go with like my upgraded characters having buffs. We could sell this for a Poliwoggle. But this isn't really a Poliwoggle build. Oh. Yes. I like kind of all of these. Uh, Good Witch of the North is better than Baby Root. And Court Wizard is fairly good with my comp right now, so I'm going to lock here. Oh boy, did I just have a mishap. So <laughs> I'm going to tell you guys a little bit of my popcorn assembly strategy uh, during this fight. So I make quite a bit of popcorn because it's like a healthy alternative than like corn chips or anything else. So yeah, we got the sleigh. Okay. Um, so I usually like cook popcorn over my stove. Like you can just buy like bulk kernels or whatever and they're like dirt cheap. Um, and I'll make it on my stove. And I have this bowl. Are we going to win? Uh, we're either going to win or tie depending on how bad our luck is. Okay, we win. Um, so I have this bowl and I like make the popcorn, I put it in there, and then I add the toppings and shake it with the lid on. Uh, I'm sure you can know where this is going. So I added turmeric, salt, and black pepper to my popcorn <laughs> as I shook it, but the lid was like not on properly, so I just sprayed like turmeric and popcorn kernels all over my floor, and turmeric is very yellow. <laughs> it's like used in dyes and stuff, so it's unbelievably yellow. And uh, now it's all over my feet because I have to wait to vacuum until after this video. So <laughs> now you guys know my feet are sitting in turmeric and popcorn kernels right now. Uh, anyway, that was quite the thing. Oh man, Darkwood Creeper is pretty sweet with what I have going on too. I think we're beyond Labyrinth Minotaur. Um, I want like one more sleigh. I think we're probably off this. Uh, I can run Court Wizard because it's good. And I can run... Good Wish of the North. This turns an evil character good and gives it extra health. Actually, that's quite strong in this particular position. I can do like this. It's a 5-5 five five now, which makes it a 5-11. Then we can do something like... I don't want frontline baby root. Um, <laughs> maybe I do actually. It's a 5 6 right there. And then I want Court Wizard attacking first. Baby root's a 3 3. It's a 2 6. I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I was too distracted by the popcorn. I think I made my squad worse this round, but that's okay. All right, we get the sleigh. This is going to be upgraded. We get a level 3 treasure. They're going to get a level 4 treasure, though. Oh, wow. That was like about as... Wow, that was about as bad as this fight could have possibly gone. <laughs> That's okay, though. We're still a reasonably high life total, and this got stronger. Ooh. Telltale Quiver with... um. Yeah, I like this. With this guy is quite nice. We can get... Okay, we're actually set up to do some cool stuff. We take Baby Root. Spinning Wheel, Shepherd's Sling. Um, Shepherd's Sling is... Good for now, but I think I like Fairy Tail. Because it, it's going to help me going forward. Because I think I'm going to go for Heartwood Elder plus the Nutcracker. Because it's a Prince Princess that's in the front row. So we're going to get rid of like Labyrinth Minotaur. And honestly, we're going to do something like this, I think. We take this. Uh, we're going to sell this dude. Put this guy here. 
So I can start buffing my frontline baby root. <laughs> uh, and then I can get rid of this dude to put this here. Um, and I guess I don't need to attack so I can buff these two and switch it like this. No, I want this to survive. So that's a 7-Eleven. Then I'm going to roll and not take... Ooh. Laura's giving plus six health. I may actually lock for that. I have a 7-5, three Prince Princesses that could get attacked, and we're growing a baby root with my uh, Heartwood Elder situation. Do I want to do this? I think so. You know what? I haven't played in a while. I'm just feeling like doing weird stuff. So here we are. Got to take all the advantage of the Nutcracker baby root. The thing I don't like about this design kind of is that uh, Brave Princess doesn't like, maintain slay afterwards, so, like, you can put it in a slay build and do a couple things. Oh, man, are we gonna... We might actually crack the Nutcracker here, although I think we're actually gonna lose to the Bearded Vulture. Because that goes there. That attacks there. We attack there. No, actually... We do win! <laughs> Take that. I, I don't think I should have won that. Alright, let's give this dude more health. Then roll. There's a happy little tree, which probably is better than baby root, but we're a little bit late to the party. Um, I could take a friendly spirit. That's just okay. Roll again. Really looking for some good stuff. None of this. Alright, there's another Romeo. Which is fine. Probably should take it, but I'm looking for more trees. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is good, right? Okay, you know what? I think I can take Prince Arthur, because uh, the Nutcracker is about to be upgraded. It's going to start bump buffing up my Brave Princess too. And I can actually sell and buy this Romeo as well, because I don't really care about these. So that's not the end of the world, right? This gets buffed. Uh, do I care about this 2-3 support, or do I just take a 6-4 Romeo? Uh, I think for now, I keep in the support. But we're, we're basically pivoting on this tree, buffing our frontline BB root. Because <laughs> it, is, it is big. I cast Earthquake. Oh, that's rough. It kills my Brave Princess. But we are definitely winning this fight. Turns out life is easy when you're having this. Ooh, Sky Castle, that works pretty well. Is this a prince? No, it's a fairy. Uh, Sky Castle is good. Gloves of Thieving is also good. But I think we're moving into Sky Castle plus Prince Arthur stuff. Uh, this only buffs them temporarily, so I'm not really into that. And I think I'm just going to look for ooh another court wizard. Yeah, I like that. So we could do something like this and move the trees back here. I like that. Now we just need to find more of them. Uh, I don't even think I want to triple the court wizard. Because just attacking with both of them is so good. I don't... I'm actually... Well, I guess if I triple it's going to get plus 5, plus 5. Plus I get a level 4 treasure. I'll do it, but it's not actually clear that it's optimal. Coin of Sharon, Forking Rod, Fool's Gold. Uh, Forking Rod actually is pretty nice with what I have right now. We can get that instead of Fairy Tail, because I can double buff... Oh, I guess I spent all my gold. Um, I really want to double buff the Court Wizard right now, but I need to sell two things. I guess I'll just lock. Actually... Court Wizard. Yeah, I'm just going to lock, I guess. I don't know. This BB Root is getting kind of big. Um, giving this extra attack is going to make it go out of control. We're playing against the Ghost. Holy cow, their squad is strong. Uh, well, no. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, uh, they do get a Lancelot. Or Prince Arthur.
So we're really, I mean, we're kind of looking for another court wizard at this point. So we can double cast this spell here. So he's just unbelievably strong. I don't actually want this uh, Good Witch of the North because I'm just looking for more Romeo and Juliet type things. Upgrade my uh, Prince Arthur, maybe. Nothing here. Uh, Sherwood Sure Shot is a 6-5. I mean, that's not that bad. You can play her back here and she's going to be a 9-8 ranged. You can actually even put her here. No, we'll put it here. Um, okay. Baby bear is tempting. Fairy godmother. She's a fairy. Oh, Lancelot's what I need, I think. Let's... I actually kind of want Lancelot and fairy godmother, so I don't really have enough gold to sell for it, so let's just do that in lock. And the question is, <laughs> do I maintain this baby root? in the front. I mean, I'm feeling like the answer is yes. My team looks pretty good. And I'm already in a winning spot. Yeah, I'm digging this. <laughs> this is one of the weirdest comps I've ever had, but 10-8 Romeo versus 11-17, it's going to become much bigger. I think I prefer the tree. Yeah, I don't know. We could triple that. Tripling Lance is going to be good. Uh, their squad is big, though. But we have this dude. Oh, they have that thing, though? That's annoying. That goes there. She attacks here. Oh, nice. They get to attack there, and then I get to snipe the pig. Yeah, we are. <laughs> the, the giant court wizard is very strong. Alright, so let's sell this dude. Buy Lancelot, and put him here. Uh, I think at this point, it's probably time to give up on the Heartwood Elder. Selling the Good Witch of the North. Do I want Fairy Godmother? She helps me, uh, transform Lance. So I think for maybe this turn, I'm going to speculate on her. I like that guy, so... Yeah, I think it's too late for Heartwood Elder. So we're going to buy this dude. And then I'm going to roll... Uh, another Sherwood Sure Shot is tempting, but I think I'm actually, like, she's about to become bad. So we have this. We're going to put Fairy Godmother here. Lance goes here. And then... I guess I'm... This BB Root needs to go home. We can just Earthquake to try and win the Brawl. Is that how I'm playing this? I want to put the ones that have the most chance of dying to attack last. Yeah, I think I'm just going to double Earthquake and do 4 damage to their front row. Because I have a Forking Rod. This, if he gets 25 attack or health during a brawl, he transforms. I guess I want to put him actually after Fairy Godmother so she can suicide too. Oh no, that's a that's gonna be a huge broccoli. <laughs> Alright, but he attacks there, then Court Wizard goes off. I think the problem is I might not have enough characters die for Lancelot to transform, because their squad looks very weak. Not even close. Alright, how do I do this then? Okay, that works. Transforming this guy is awesome. Ring of Rage, Reduplicator, Hidden Cash. Uh, I guess just giving my whole team plus three attack is better than Telltale Quiver. So I like that. Um, I can take the Green Knight. And use him to give plus ten health so Lance has twenty one health. Sure. I mean, I just if I can transform Lance, I think I'm in great shape. So I could do something like this. And then just try and, like, suicide one of my creatures. Double Earthquake again. 
Maybe this is what I want. 1421. Whenever a creature dies, it gets plus two. Oh, they... Wait. When did Fairy Godmother get worse? Oh, that's so much worse. <laughs> okay, so two things have to die for Lance to transform. All right, we'll try it. This seems reasonable to me. So this guy buffs himself by plus four, plus four. Yeah, we're going to start getting really strong, I think. Especially if we can flip this dude. Oh, and we're facing the ghost. Um, does that change? Ah, I think our team's going to be too strong again. No, we stand a chance. The double earthquake might screw me over, though. I don't think anything's going to die on my side. Oh, and Lance took damage. Yeah, our team is like way too strong to, to use Fairy Godmother correctly. <laughs> the only character that died was Lancelot. You love to see it, don't you? Uh, Drink Me Potion will be cast twice. Let's do that. Whoa. Okay. Plus 10 attack permanently, plus 3 health permanently. Uh, this will transform him right away. Because I double cast it. This will give him plus 10 attack. It won't transform him. So let's just do this. Now we don't have to worry about flipping Lance. And then I could take another Prince Arthur. Who I don't actually know if he will upgrade Lance a lot or not. But I guess we'll find out. Um, this Fairy Godmother is kind of not where we want to be anymore. So let's put this dude in. I guess we can like make Lance attack first because he's going to get just really big. So I like that. Another court wizard is excellent. Let's sell the fairy godmother. And I guess Sherwood sure Shot sure to get a court wizard. Um... I guess I just do something like this because I'm so strong and I, I value the incremental buffs of Prince Arthur over the permanent buff for now. Uh, as the games go on, obviously getting plus 10 in one turn is going to be better. I also get to see if this guy gets buffed. Oh, I did a bad thing. I did a really bad thing. Oh, I did such a bad thing. This guy only had the toughness because... <laughs> This guy only had the toughness because he was in front of the Green Knight. Oh, I messed up big time. We might still win this. The Echo Wood is huge, though. Attack here. Attack here. Okay, that goes there. No! <laughs> I think if they had attacked my Knight, I could have stood a chance. Oh, I really screwed that up. Okay, that's fine. We can do this. Prince and princesses. Um, Alright, I mean, I can triple another court wizard. Hercules is going to be great, too. So we're going to do like this again. <laughs> um, I guess... Yeah, because I want them to attack first. And we're going to get this Herc and put him here. Then what do I do? I guess there's not really space for another Prince Arthur, is there? I don't think so. So I can, like, sell this dude. There's not really space for Romeo either. And 4033 is worse than these. So I think we're going to sell this to buy this one. And then I guess I will just lock for Court Wizard because it's going to be upgraded and really strong with the Fates buffing it. Um, yeah, now we get to find out if uh, Lancelot <laughs> gets, gets his buff by transforming. Well, they instantly ate him, so I guess I don't know. That goes there, that kills that. 5134 goes there. No, Hercules! Why do you die? All right, this gets two attacks, though. Kill that, kill that. This person is quite strong. 
But we get another attack here. That goes there. They don't even slay. Uh, but then they get a copy of my guy to do extra damage to me? No! <laughs> oh, they did so much extra damage. Alright, summoning portal mimic Helm of the Ugly Gosling. Um... Mimic Sky Castle is tempting. Do that. Mimic getting rid of... Mimic Forking Rod is pretty cool. I don't really care about Ring of Rage. Do this. Then transform this guy. Dwarven Forge Reduplicator Gloves of Thieving. So I have Mimic Gloves of Thieving now? If I want it. That can help me triple stuff. Okay. Is that a forking rod? That seems fun. Alright, I get to roll for... Heroes. Oh, I get rid of this guy for sure to put it in here. Uh, do this. Uh, there was a lance. I, I just messed up on timing there. Um, I think I'm also supposed to probably run lance a lot first. Oh, he didn't die. Oh my gosh, attack, attack him. Yes! Okay, level 6 upgraded. So, we get double gloves of thieving for <laughs> whatever we need, I guess. The arc. Your starting character is a plus 12 plus 12 if you have a character of each level. The singing sword. Whenever you buy a spell, cast it twice. So I can double cast Evil Twin to get plain copies of my creatures. I think I just want the singing sword because their attack is going to be unbelievable. Instead of Gloves of Thieving. That seems fun. Uh, I still can get an evil plane copy. I want this guy going first. I don't even know what I need to upgrade my team anymore. I actually don't know. Merlin's test buff this dude. Nothing here. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how to improve. Uh, there's like no level 6s for prince and princesses. I could have moved into a spell comp and maybe that would have been wiser, but this feels kind of fun, so... I'm doing this instead. Uh, this is 124.42, this is 135.41, so I think this gains more overall attack. Merlin's test, whatever, slay stuff, whatever. I guess this is it. Um... My squad is just huge. <laughs> uh, except for the back row dudes. I guess I need things to buff my back row guys. Because my attack on everything is so big. No! <laughs> they sniped me with that shrivel spell. That makes things so much worse. Um, I have the attack to deal with Echo Wood, but I'm probably losing still. Yeah, I think, well, I don't know. That goes there. The Echo Wood is enormous. But it's going to kill that, and then this guy gets a free attack. I think if they hadn't sniped my guy, it would have been good. But I get another fight. Um, So we really got to look for, like, Pigamorph. <laughs> this is the rare chance where your whole team is upgraded, so you can't even Knighthood. I could go for another level 6 treasure, because there's got to be something better than Sky Castle. Maybe I do that as well. Oh, Echo Wood. This actually is not a very good Echo Wood team. There's Pigamorph. Uh, let's sell a Romeo. You Pigamorph, because this isn't necessarily the last fight. Pigamorph is really good against someone who's running the gloves of whatever. And they, they shriveled specifically my important stuff. If they minus 12, minus 12, really anything else, it's not a huge problem. 
So, let's see what happens. Oh, and we didn't win the fight, so we don't get the Court Wizard buff. Um, it could be said where I'm supposed to Green Knight instead of Court Wizard. Oh, that's weird. Pigamorph gives the Echo Woods a bonus. They, they hit an upgraded Friendly Spirit. Oh, jeez. Well, I'm not going to beat that. That's unfortunate. Yeah, I think the thing letting my team down is these court wizards because my squad's so strong that they're like not super likely to trigger. Although, wait a second. That goes there. That kills... No, it doesn't even kill the court wizard. That attacks there. They get hit. This attacks... I'm actually going to win this fight. Wow. Weird. Okay. <laughs> With one health. Um, this doesn't really work. It's not ranged characters. It's like exploding mittens that I'm fairly concerned about. Angry doesn't help. Good potion doesn't really do anything. An echo wood of my own, again, doesn't really do a whole lot. Robin Wood. Um, oh. You can sell Romeo. Get an extra copy of this. Double your support bonuses. Um, okay. Instead of Sky Castle. And then I run this guy here. And do I run this guy in addition? They're gonna like kill it. And I think Prince Arthur actually offers quite a bit more value. I don't know. I, I'm pretty much losing this, but this is plus like 80 plus 80 or something. Like it's a huge amount of bonus. But I, yeah, I think the court wizard, like my front line is so just doesn't die. So the court wizard actually doesn't get that much value. I wonder actually if I'm supposed to front line the court wizard in front of the green knight. That could be the case. Oh no, that disaster. But we're still going to do it, I think. Yeah, okay. We have to win another fight somehow. Oh boy. Um, I don't even know. I guess Pigamorph is really what we're rolling towards. None of these. None of these. Another green knight. So what I'm asking of is, am I supposed to do this? It's only a 65 power ranged. But my frontline characters don't really die that much. I'm going to keep rolling and see. Knighthood, my whole team is upgraded, so it doesn't do anything. No, no, no. Keep seeing these Echo Woods, and they're just not helping. Croc bait doesn't really work. Sure, I'll take the lucky coin. All right, I will buff up you. Do I like this, or do I like this? Honestly, maybe this. No. I think this is better because I need that super high attack to deal with the Echo Woods. And they got Tree of Life, so I'm actually fairly happy with this decision. Maybe. I don't know. That goes there. I don't actually know how this ends up. Because they're just not going to kill any of my stuff. Oh, there we go. So this guy gets an attack. And then an attack. And that dies. This triggers. I get two attacks here. Yeah, I'm actually going to win this. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. I cannot believe my squad pulled it through. Oh, no, I still have to win again. Oh, this is torturous. Okay. Oh, my gosh. This is so annoying. Uh, give your characters plus one plus one permanently. Mm, we just need Pigamorph, basically. 
Oh. That also can just snipe an Echo Wood. I like that. Good boy. Hold up. How big is good boy? A 6-2. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, I can make him a 6-62, and then when he dies, he'll give my whole team bonuses. How do I feel about that? I could put him here and get rid of my ranged guy. I mean, the extra toughness is fairly relevant, but this is a really, really weak attacker. I guess I lock. I think I'm better off doing this. Uh-oh. I don't know whether swap happened or not. Uh-oh. Uh, okay, we did swap to the same thing. Yes! We killed Echo Wood. Okay. <laughs> they have Berenstein, which is much scarier. But Echo Wood got sniped. Oh, uh, they do have double three big pigs, though. AKA six big pigs. I don't know if I'm, maybe Good Boy would have been better, because that toughness would have been huge. I'm not even killing the three big pigs with my ranged attack, so I think I messed up. I think if I had Good Boy, this game would have been different, because now I'm going to lose my Court Wizard for, like, not a huge amount of value. But we... Wow! <laughs> I don't know how to predict these things. Somehow I still win. Okay, we fought through all of the things. Give them the thing. That was insane. I didn't think I was winning that, but uh, we came back. First game, plus 75 rating. I'll take it. Wait, that seems low. I don't know. We'll take it, I guess. See you guys next round. Next time? Whenever. Whenever I'm playing again.